so many addictions in this day and age. And at the beginning of the half hour, I mentioned a new one. The biggest study ever of Internet users finds that perhaps 11 million of us are addicted to the Internet. And that may be a conservative estimate. Joining us this morning from Boston is David Greenfield. He is president of the Connecticut Psychological Association, and he led the study jointly conducted with ABC News and our website, abcnews.com. And David, I appreciate you joining us. This is a new phenomenon. Can you define it for me? What is addiction to the Internet? Yeah, I mean, it, it basically it's using the Internet in a way that, is, um, that interferes with your life. It's not so much how much time you spend online. It's what you do, um, or how, rather how it affects your life as a result. So if you're spending hours and hours online and you're ignoring your family or ignoring your work or you're, you're uh, becoming unhealthy or doing illegal acts, that's what I mean by addiction. Is so it necessarily speak. harmful? I, I know that, that you came to this conclusion by people who filled out a questionnaire, and I'm asking if it's harmful because I suspect with that same questionnaire you'd find that a lot of people are addicted to television. Right, and that's, that's one of the you know, common criticisms. I mean, we surveyed, uh, we got about 18,000 responses in less than two weeks. And it, it's really, it's true that people can become addicted to many things. And the word addiction really may not even be the most, most appropriate. The issue is that there's something very powerful about the interactive communication that people experience online. And they end up getting involved in situations in their life that uh, can be harmful to them. I, I, I'm wondering if you found those who are addicted use the Internet for many purposes or for one. I mean, were they particularly... Uh, hung up on, on pornographic lines or stock trading or shopping yeah. obsessions or well we, we you know we think that they're probably this is a preliminary study where you know the internet is so new and changing mm -hmm. so drastically we don't really know but my my suspicion is that there are probably several subtypes of people who abuse the internet there are probably those who, who who like the gambling aspect and those might be the stock traders who are going on to the off uh, offshore casinos then there are the shoppers who are getting into these auction sites and then there's a whole group that are into the relationship issues like the email and chat room and then of course of the sex sites and the porno sites um, and they're probably s and then there's the information junkies there are people that just get on there and they surf for hours and hours I call them electronic vagabonds in my book these are people who just surf forever and they every time they click onto a new link or a new banner it's like pulling the handle on a slot machine it's like a new adventure and that's a very uh, powerful emotion for people. How much time a day in front of the computer screen might you begin to think about the fact that you're addicted? You know, I, I, I'm going to beg the question because it's really not the number of hours. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you're spending six or eight or ten hours a day in front of the screen uh, and you have other things to do, you might want to look at it. But it's not, it's really not the time. You want to look at whether it's interfering with the major aspects of your life. I mean, certainly if people are saying to you, hey, what gives? or your husband and wife are complaining that you come, come home from work, eat dinner, and go down and spend six hours in front of the computer, or you're late from work, or you're getting in trouble at work because you're online, because our studies showed that 30% of the time that people spend online seems to be at work. So there are, may be productivity issues at work as well going on. Mm. Or you're ignoring your children. There was a famous case of somebody who was losing custody of their children because they were ignoring their kids. The Quick. other... Yeah, go ahead. You know, I just say a quick final question. You are a therapist. Are therapists beginning to treat people for this? Um, we're starting to see many people come in dealing with these issues, particularly around marriages and relationships, uh, people who are having cyber sex or cyber affairs. 31% mm. of people who tend to be addicted are actually having, meeting the people they meet online and having sex in mm. real life. All right, David Greenfield, thanks very much for joining us. Very, very interesting. We'll be right back. Daily Renewal Body Wash.